All right, everybody, I'm back, man. Been a while since I made a video because I was on vacation. A lot of things have been going on around here, around the house, so been taking care of all kinds of stuff uh, since I got back. Garage door broke. I broke, broke toes in my feet. I, it's just been a terrible time, but today I got a package. Well, not a package, an envelope in the mail when I got back, and it was from J.O. Ventures, and I knew he was starting this J.O. sack pack, now, I'm going to be the first to admit, I don't know a lot about these. And as a matter of fact, when I first was on knife tube or, or whatever you want to call it, and I picked up a couple of these, I actually reached out to J.O. for advice and his, uh, his knowledge. And, uh, because I, again, I, I don't know much about these. I give more of these away than I keep. Um, you can ask J.O., you can ask Jesse McJames, Boston Blade Reviews, Tom over here knife delights i've gave all those guys um victor knox knives because i can get them fairly cheap and just a little bit of cleaning and i can uh, make them look pretty good and get them out the door a lot of times you can find stuff right here like this for for five dollars at a flea market and these are brand new at walmart like 22 bucks i think you could probably get them cheaper off of a website or somewhere but um Let's just go through these and, and kind of talk about them. And, and this is all I have. This is all the uh, sack blades that I have. I believe they're all Victorinox. They're all name brand Victorinox. Um, and we'll start, we'll sort of here, and I keep this on my keychain. I got this one a very long time ago, the SD Classic. Um, it's got some uh, advertising on it. And um, I'm not sure exactly where I got this. I remember Frank Keller sent some of these to me. And it may have been from the group that he sent me or, or ones that I picked up. But these are these are great little, you know, they got the blades. They got the they got the scissors, um, toothpick. And I always get a bag of, I bought these extra toothpicks for these. And it's got the tweezer and the toothpicks. And it also has the nail, the SD Classic has the nail file and the little flat tip screwdriver. That's why it's called the SD for the screwdriver. But I attach that onto my key. This is my main keychain. I have what now my work keys I keep on a separate key ring because um I can just take them and throw them in the lunchbox once I'm into work. But Jesse McJames gifted me this killer a piece right here. I think I got this at Red Hill Cutlery. And it's gonna be made by Baron Son because it's got the same way they stamp their blades, but she's getting patina and everything. But there's the SD classic that I've carried on this keychain right here for a very long time. It comes in very handy. I lost it once in the uh, grass at work and i found it four days later in the grass it had been mowed over and everything and it survived so i got one sd classic up there i've got another one here that i've probably picked up at a flea market or a sale of some kind um, this is just the classic because it don't have this you see the difference the classic is just the nail file where the sd classic has the flat tip screwdriver on the file so a little, little bit of difference there. Everything else is all the same on these. You know, it's got the toothpick and the, the tweezers. This one has a little design on it. I'm not sure what that's for. Probably a company logo or something, but you know, it's got the blade and you know, you got your, your tank stamp there and a the blade. And you can probably date these if you really wanted to, but and if you ever get if you ever get these and say the it's missing the spring right here, you can buy replacements and get the replacement uh, toothpick and tweezers. So there's that classic. We got an SD classic. We got a classic. I don't know what this one is. This is an older one. Um, I believe it's an older one. It uh, it's just the uh, the classic as well. Scissors work. Everything works on all these. Always make sure I get them. It's got the toothpick. It's got the uh, old aluminum or stainless steel head tweezers. I'm not sure. Again, I don't know a lot about these. So there's there's two classics, an SD classic. And I gave uh, Jesse McJames James a couple of nice ones. A couple of, uh, well, there's some kind of name brand that goes with them or something. But <laughs> um, I forget the name of that. Hoffert's? Yeah, I gave him a couple of Hoffert's blades. Um, they, uh, I really don't know a lot about them. One to come in a Hoffert's 10, the other one to come in a Hoffert's uh, sheath. But 
If we look at this Bantam here, now if we look, it's got a company logo on it. Um, and that logo is of my watch because when my kids and my wife bought me this really nice watch as a gift, I think it was for my birthday, um, they opted to get the matching Bantam. And uh, they say this right here is the same watch that uh, the astronauts used. So, very cool, very cool story. If you go on Wolbert, you can find that information out. But if you look, you got the top lifter, probably a wire stripper thingy, a flat tip. And then it also keychain with the, the tweezers and the toothpick. Again, I'll, never, I'll probably never use this one because it just, it matches my, my watch. It's all dirty. So, yeah, love that watch. And, Here's a Bantam I picked up at the, I think I got this at the flea market for like two or three dollars. And it's some type of textile company. Now this one here doesn't have the uh, toothpick and uh, tweezers. It's all the same except for that. And it don't have the, the keychain on the end of it. So. What do we got here? We have, oh my gosh, the climber. Now this thing right here, I believe I bought this when Knife Delights was in town. We were shopping around. Um, but this thing had, like someone had spilt pop down in here. And it was all, it was just loaded full of old gummed up junk. And you couldn't even get the scissors open. I had to use, I had to use like a tool or something to get the uh, scissors open. And the scissors, when I opened them, there was no spring. I think the guy gave them to me, gave this to me for like eight or nine dollars. So I went on to SwissSomething.com, got me a replacement spring, and uh, got the scissors working. But if you look, everything opens really smooth now. All this had, all these pivots had gunk in them. So if we look, uh, you know, everything is kind of fine. And also has a pin blade over here. These aren't snappy and slam shut like the other ones, but it may be. And you got your all, your sewing all has the hole. Um, you got the, what's this thing called? Car, or, I don't know. You carry it, you carry stuff. They call it a pail or something. I don't know. Again, I don't know a lot about these. I'm first submitting. You got the corkscrew and you can put tools in these. Then they make pins that go in here, but. Um, a lot of people use these to untie knots. So that is the climber, I believe. I used to have a hiker, but I gave that to Boston Blade Reviews, I believe. I was brand new in the box. But here is a tinker. I bought this off of uh, Walmart.com just to kind of test it out against something else. And I paid like $16 for it. Now this one right here is just a basic, basic tool. You know, it's just got your pin blade, your main blade, your your top lifter with your flathead, your can opener and whatever. So this is pretty basic. But the good thing about this one, right there, Phillips screwdriver. That's why I like it. And then it also has uh, an awl maybe. So yeah, so an awl over there. Plenty of oil on it. And a uh, Jersey knife guy. He uh, told me about these clips. This one here is a little big. I think I got the large one. I probably should have got the next size down. So I honestly, um, if you ever buy these, probably get like just the medium. It would probably work just fine. Over here, we got, I believe, is a camper. It even says camping on it. But it came in a sheet. And I got this at a flea market or an antique store or something. I don't know much about this. And I don't think I've ever really messed with it. But it's a pretty clean blade. Got a oil all over it. Again, I'll be the first to admit, not a lot of knowledge. Not a lot of knowledge. This one has a saw, right? It's got the saw. Main, ba main blade, pin blade, you know, your top lifter, and your screwdrivers, and a corkscrew. It'll let me open it and uh, I believe this is a camper I believe if it's not a camper maybe it's a hiker I don't know 
Do not know. But I would say it's a camper. Because it says camping right there, but <laughs> I can be wrong. Hell, I don't know. I just wanted to show my a lot of people will be gone by now anyway. It's 10 minutes in and I've showed all these knives so not a lot of people are going to watch to give me advice. But um, let me know what you think. Um, this is pretty much all I keep around as far as far as Victorinox blades. I would like to try one of the more, their more premium blades, but um, I'm always in the, I'm always getting something else. So I want to shout out J.O. Be sure you check out his channel. Let him know. Uh, Big J sent you over. Like, subscribe. Great leather smith. Just a great guy. Anytime someone has a traveling knife, and I actually have one here. Well, it's not a traveling knife. It's a gift knife. It came from, he got it kind of first and made the sheath for it. And um, I'll be doing a video on that not, in not too long because i got to sharpen it, and i got to mail it to the guy who's going to receive it. But him, Byron Kennedy, Tom at Knife Delights. Tom at Knife Delights kicked it off, and we're kind of just tagging along, and we're going to send it to somebody. So, But, yeah, big shout-out to J.O., Great feller. Been, I've been able to meet him in person a few times and uh, just great fellowship with that guy. All right, guys, that's all I've got today. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think.